Welcome to the Power of Healing Your Energy show. This is episode 46, and it's all about the June energy update. Uh, there's so many different themes going on here. Uh, I wanted to do something special as there's so many things going on in the world as we know. So let's get to it, guys. Yes, and this is all about the energies of June. And, you know, the time is now. Uh, with everything that's going on right now, um, it's so important uh, to be sharing, um, you know, how we're feeling, what we're not feeling. Um, I know for myself, I've been keeping quiet. <laughs> you know, that, that's how it works. Some of us are, are introspective. Some of us are um, angry. Some of us are grief-filled. Uh, Some of us are sad. Some of us are so worked up, you know, that they're letting fear um, just drive everything. And that just perpetuates more fear. And I'm not saying what is happening is right. Um, absolutely not. But the end does not justify the means, meaning, you know, uh, more violence will not, you know, help. Um, more crime will not help. Um, you know, th think of Martin Luther King. Um, I think of him. That's the energy we want. You want to rise above right? Rise above all of it. And the only way we can do it is to stay connected. We are all connected and there is no blame. There is no shame. There is no finger pointing. Um, you know, collectively, I don't know about you, but I am feeling this, right? And if you don't know who I am, maybe I should let you know. My name is Christine. I'm with 24 Karat Healing, and I am a spiritual medium, intuitive energy coach, and old soul healer, also known as an empath, which I know there's lots of you out there, empath sensitives, right? You're feeling me. I know you are. Um, and maybe, you know, this is new to you right now. Um, and it's just coming in at waves and waves, you know, and, you know, I've seen that I can't breathe. And along with that go, you know, I think of anxiety. So the anxiety levels are huge right now. Um, emotional spikes, as they call it. Um, so that's why I wanted to do this show. I mean, I did have a guest, but something happened to her. So you know, when um, pre-COVID, everything was all set up, but, you know, things change, right? So I, I pivot, and here I am. This is the topic. And please share this out. Um, please comment, ask, uh, share, connect. Um, and if you want to reach out privately, you can reach me through Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, or by email, 24 Healing at gmail.com. Um, I'm just going to say hi to a few people. Um, uh, Holland Gem off of YouTube. I believe you're a new, new um, uh, person that's uh, popped up here. And thank you for showing up today. And thank you for reaching out, um, saying that you're feeling so depressed today, sad, so many tears. You know what? I'm feeling that as well. Um, I think we all are collectively grieving and it just seems palpable. It's the energy is, <laughs> it's extreme. You know, when they talk about love and fear, we're seeing the extremes right now. Um, so I'm sending you a lot of love, a lot of light. And if you go to my Facebook page, 24 Karat Healing, I have some complimentary uh, distance Reiki. I have intuitive coaching that's complimentary. So please reach out. Those resources are there for a reason because I too have been there. All right. So I'm sending you lots of love. Thank you. And hi, Lynn. So nice to see you. 
And thanks for sharing those lovely pictures of the lilacs. Uh, I know, you know, it, it seems lilacs are, are short season. Um, I don't know about you, but there may be a week and then the big winds came up a couple days and they're all gone. So when you see them, take pictures. <laughs> That's all I'm. Uh, that's all I have to say about that. All right. So, um, yeah. And this is episode 46. And you know I love numbers. So we're working. This works down to one. And one is all about your intuition. So this is a huge show. I believe. Um, I can feel it. Uh, there's so much going on. Um, there are so many ways. Um, you know, there are so many communities that are being built right now online. So reach out. If some if you're drawn to something, go for it, okay? Don't hold back. Hi, Alyssa. So nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. And uh, the family's doing good. Your little ones as well. But I'm sure they're getting, they're growing and they're getting bigger. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to try and stay on topic because there's so much to discuss. Um, I mean, not only um, are there six planets still in retrograde, there's a seventh one on the horizon. There's a seventh one coming. I know you're thinking, really? Do we need any more? Do we need any more? <laughs> Apparently we do. So, you know, retrogrades are all about slowing down, slowing down. Um, when they say retro, that means bringing stuff back. My mentor just reminded me today, bringing stuff back. So if you're thinking of, you know, maybe exes or old friends or old memories and childhood and family, this is absolutely, uh, you know, what's happening out there, right? So, um, yeah, just, just a reminder to take it slow, guys. Um, there is no race. There is no rush. Everything is divinely timed, and if it doesn't look like it right now, it is, okay? Um, it's also, it, Mercury is around the corner. It's coming up June 18th, so we're going to have seven, seven, okay? And Mercury is all about communication and technologies and just wires getting crossed is how I see it more than anything. Um, and then, you know, just, just because, I mean, everything that's happening this week, you know, pre- Full moon, this is a full strawberry moon in Sagittarius. And Sagittarius, this is on Friday, are known, are fiery. We're fiery, right? Um, and then there's a lunar eclipse attached to that, just in case you guys needed some more energy. Um, let me know if you're feeling it. And today, um, Venus star point. So Venus, I found out, is, you know, is going to be the morning star now instead of an evening star. That's what Venus star point means. I was like, oh, I learned something new today. And if you like looking up at the heavens and the stars, there's a beautiful app um, I use. It's called Starwalk. Um, you know, it's free. Download it. It's very cool. It shows you where all the constellations are, satellites, planets. Um, even shows you your astrological signs, where they're sitting. So you, like, if you're visual, it, it's great. And it's something you can do with your kids, too. So... All right. Yeah, Lynn, Lynn is just saying the energy has been really weird. Yeah, it's it has been, has been. Oh, look at that. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining. Oh, your birthday's June 18th. Well, happy early birthday. And that's interesting that uh, Mercury goes in retro on your birthday. So just be aware of that. And it's going, of course, it's in Cancer, right? So it's like, boom. It's almost like a double, double whammy. Um, yeah, but thanks for joining Mary. I appreciate that. I know that we were on Edenshire just what an hour ago and here we are again. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Thank you very much. And your beautiful soul as well. Much love. Love to you. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Um, so some of the, um, some of the stuff that came up was major changes on the horizon. And I mean, we already seen what we, you know, what was happening with George and what was happening with the police and then the looting. And this has been going on for a very long time. This is not new. Um, it, it, it just keeps reoccurring because it has not been addressed, it has not been addressed. 
And that's why you're going to see a lot of people. Um, <laughs> what's the word? You're going to see extremes from, you know, very angry to very sad, love, fear, and all the stuff in between. Um, and you just need to proceed slowly and with caution through the month of June. Need some water already. <clears throat> and what I mean, you're just going to see lots of waves. Um, and if you find yourself being pulled, if you are highly sensitive, it's time to pull back and say, okay, I've had enough, okay? Just because I'm not sharing 25 times a day and ranting and raving and tirades and whatever else does not mean you don't care. It just means you take care of yourself and you're choosing something different, okay? That's all it means. No judgment here, just love. Um, and the change makers are, this is a yin month. June is a yin. Yin means soft, fluid, intuition, love, going inward, inward. And I know for some that might be uncomfortable, uh, but it needs to happen. Um, you cannot avoid anymore. Um, 2020 is rebirth. I, I said that even before uh, the new year. Um, yeah, and the the darkness is is being you know kind of swept into the field into our auric fields. Uh, this was shared by my mentor as well. So it's our darkness within, and darkness is not. I don't want to say evil. I want to say fear. It's a sickness. It is a global sickness. Um, so, you know, they're suggesting pray it forward, pray it forward. And why not? What does it hurt to send love and light to someone and prayers to someone and blessings to someone? That's how we're going to heal the world. It's not me. It's we, um, for far too long. I, I, yeah, I really feel that, you know, we have that term highly sensitive introvert empaths because there was such a, we, we started to see as the light rose, we started to see the narcissistic tendencies and we can have those as well. And don't get me wrong. Um, and there's emotional spikes. Like I talked about emotional spikes. Um, there's going to be, you know, very, very happy, like euphoric and then sudden anger and then sudden sadness. And we're asking, are you grounding? Got to stay grounded 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 um and if that and grounding could be taking your shoes off and walking on the beach or the grass or earthing gardening dancing epsom salt baths um singing healing frequencies um any type of touch or massage any type of wellness that makes you feel zen yoga qigong breath work um some people I know like to clean and that's a meditation for them. So go for it. And if you don't like to clean, well, maybe you like to cook or bake or, or it's something. You got to find something, more ways to bring you back to your Zen den, as I would call it. Find your inner Zen den. It's there. I know it's there. I'm just going to take a breather here. Mary. Yeah, Mars is in Cancer in your chart, and you're having a rough time already. Yeah, that's right. Um, I guess we're just really being shown um, to take care of ourselves. Like, we are the little child or the grandchild that we have. We would never mistreat them. So, and we've been doing it to each other and to ourselves for too long. So now it's time to wrap ourselves in the collective preciousness. Yeah, preciousness. I like that. All right. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to share. I don't know if you guys check out my weekly energy updates that I do, but um, I just thought I'd bring them here. Uh, conflict. That's the overarching <laughs> theme for the week and you're seeing a lot of conflict are you not inner conflict outer conflict it's a global con conflict step night is known for spiky yeah like we're talking energy spikes energy emotional spikes 
So um, lots of love and compassion and forgiveness for self. Black obsidian, we're seeing the shadow aspects of everything and everyone, including ourselves. Um, and shadow just means, you know, the more light is shown on something, the more it, the dark is revealed. And it's emerging. It's emerging. There's no good, bad, evil. You know, it's it just is. And we need to figure out the duality of ourselves and the world. And then we have a black tourmaline protection. <laughs> These are great, great stones for highly sensitive folks, folks, light workers, healers. It is just a way to keep and you know your auric field as clean as possible. But that starts with you know self-care and taking care of yourself, um, doing the work every day. Practicing, rinsing, repeating. Um, and yeah, protection in, you know, taking care, um, self-care, right? So that that's the overarching theme of the week. Subscribe, you know, to the YouTube channel. And um, I, I'm so close to 100, guys. And once I hit 100, I am making a draw for a Reiki reveal session. So... If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you might want to because I believe we're five away. So just, just a heads up. All right. And hi, Trudy. Thank you for joining us. I see your little kitty there. Cute. <laughs> and aloha, Angie. Yes, definitely need the protection. Definitely. And, and I'm sure even now in Hawaii, you, you, you're feeling this as well. Right, love, and hopefully you're near some water, of course, and you're taking advantage of it. <laughs> I know I would. All right, so um, you know, collectively we are seeing this anger, this fire, you know, this fire. There's, but we're we're being asked to yin. We're being asked to go in and be soft for June, July. I see fire. I see movement. I see yang. I see let's go. We're going to do this. We've done the inner work. We see what's going on. We're getting the big picture here. And I know a lot of you are getting downloads. Um, you're getting upgrades. Maybe your ears are ringing. Um, I know mine have been for, honestly, the last two weeks, every single day, every single day. Um ears ringing it's just we're going through like we had venus star points we have venus upgrades we have um a dna activations there's the schumann resonance which basically takes a global snapshot of the frequency of the earth so go online and check out the schumann resonance it's a it's a thing okay if you're curious about energies and spikes in energy and what's going on collectively um, but we're also undercut by sadness in the last two to three months because we're seeing what, you know, there's that saying, hurt people hurt people. And we're seeing it. And what we really need is love and forgiveness. That's, that's what we're here for. We're all making our way home. And as my partner would say, but we have different ways of getting there. I'm like, yes, you do. You have free will. <laughs> Um, you have distractions, you have, um, some of us like to numb ourselves, some of us like to, um, uh, it, it's, uh, it's a journey and every journey is different, that's all. But I'm sure you're getting a lot of past lives, deja vu, we talked about that today too as well, Kaushik stuff, things popping up. Um, and you know what, you're, you're healers. You guys are all healers. We're all light workers. And I'm going to come back to this healer high alert in a minute. And Mary's just saying she's been holding a huge piece of black tourmaline and walking around it with it all week. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad. And yeah, pop it in your pocket. Um, for me, I put it in my bra. Full disclosure. Yes, I do. I don't care. And I have quite a few friends that do the same thing. <laughs> Uh, Robin, yes, ears ringing. 
Nice to see you, Robin. Hope you're doing well. And Lynn, yes, occasional ringing of the ears. See, you're getting little, little spikes, little bits. There is so much going on. Absolutely, Angie. And uh, yeah, Lynn is just saying she's been lately. You're always a firecracker. Get out of here. No. <laughs> uh, Lynn, that's just who you are, and that's why we love you. All right. All right. So let me know if you have any questions, but uh, we're going to go right to healer high alert. Um, I, you know, I'm feeling this. I, I'm trying to get something off the ground here. But if you're an empath, if you're highly sensitive, if you're a healer, light worker, friend, counselor, many of many people are coming to you right now, and you're like, okay, whoa, what's going on here? Um, you know you need to close. If you need to close the doors and go offline for a few days, go offline. Take this time because uh, I'm feeling it. It's very intense. Uh, I've set my hours to not between nine and three because I'm like, that. I cannot do anymore. And I don't want to because that word burnout. I am not going to be Edgar Casey. If you don't know who he is, go read up about him. But this man was unreal. Sleeping prophet. I know I have um, a timeline with him. I'm very drawn to him. But he could not help himself. He wanted to help everyone. And it, it killed him, basically. It, it, it took him down um, health-wise. So, and I'm choosing not to do that. I'm choosing, and that's the thing. You really, like meditation, yoga, any type of body movement, breath work, any type of channeling, intuitive, you know, journaling, whatever you're doing, take time to scan your body. Where does your anxiety go? Where does your tension go? Those are, those are important things to check in every day, and if not, a couple times a day. And sometimes, yeah, it's just you got to walk away and you got to reset. Um, turn off the computer, shut your phone off. In fact, my phone is not in my bedroom. I have no TV in my bedroom because I don't want it. Because um, it's just, it's easy for me to engage again, right? So yeah, Lynn's saying more spicy than usual. Okay, she's extra spicy. <laughs> uh, Angie, yeah, lots popping in and up, upgrades, past life stuff, connecting the dots on lots of stuff. Nice. It is nice to connect the dots. Um, just, you know, be mindful uh, that we don't want the ego to get in there and, and have to figure everything out because it don't happen that way. It's revealed when we're ready. Um, yeah, and just be cautious of the nervous system. Um, our nervous systems are spiking. That's why we need the grounding. Um, so... You know, if you're very sensitive to energy spikes and you can feel it, if you're a feeler, boundaries, no, um, very important. And also, you know, we've been in this for what, March, so April, May, almost three months, right, uh, of COVID. And the shock and awe and all the, you know, whoa, the rug got pulled out, what's going on here? That's cleared. So I don't know about you, but I signed up for a course on Saturday, spiritual counseling. I, I feel very drawn to it. So now I, a lot of us are looking at higher learning, whether it's ethereal, like, you know, the heavenly stuff, the, the intuitive stuff, the woo-woo stuff, whatever you want to call it, or it's a new skill. We're actually, we have this time now to go, okay, I think I know what I want to do. I have an idea, I have an inspiration, I have a knowing, a feeling, um, or you feel very drawn to it. it. It's just pulling you in. Go with it. Go with what feels good, okay? And many of you are getting new psychic thoughts as well. I mean, when you get the upgrades, you're getting more hits intuitively and psychically. You're sensing and seeing and feeling. You're, you know, more intuitively uh, with your spiritual awakening. Some of us are just starting. Some of us are half through it. Some of us are like, oh, yeah, I've been doing this for a long time. Whatever it is, it's coming through. And deja vu. 
lots of deja vu. It, it's, you know, don't discount it. It's not a coincidence. It's not strange. It's not weird. It's something, it's your soul reminding you of something. Oh, or it's a past life remembrance. A lot of that is going on. Um, and you're going to find that you're sensitive to noise. Sensitive because you're upgrading. Um, lots of noise, loud. You just find that's where the yin part comes in. You're wanting to just say, okay, I've, I've had enough. I'm tapping out. <laughs> tapping out. So that's, that's the whole idea about the changes, the change makers, the emotional spikes, um, the sensitivities. Uh, so I'm just asking if anybody has any questions about the June energy, anything about this week. Um, are you having any struggles internally? Um, you know, it's, and if you're maybe kind of in the middle and you're not sure where to go, um, you know, reach out. That That's why we're here. Ask for help. I think a lot of times we're afraid to ask. I was reminded, uh, you know, by Michael Murdad as well about asking for help. He says, you, you healers, you light workers, you don't like to ask for help. You're you're there to rescue and to help everybody else, but you got to receive sometimes. And in order to receive, you have to ask. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Absolutely right. So this is a time to ask. And if you're struggling, um, reach out. Uh, we're here as well. Um, and 12 step has been coming up quite a bit. So if you're, struggling with something any type of addiction it could be food alcohol, it could be anything um or just maybe struggling with um family 12 step is a great thing to go through it's not just you know for aa it's for every day um if you're looking to just bring a higher awareness to your life and i'm um tapping in more to i'm i'm getting i'm I asked for a book and I'm getting it gifted to me from uh, a beautiful lady out of the US, uh, Kim, uh, Course in Miracles. So if you're not familiar with the Course in Miracles, I highly recommend it. Um, it, is, it is just a beautiful reminder. It keeps your gratitude in check. It keeps your me um, pulled out into a collective we. Um, it's, the verses in there are just beautiful. So if you're looking for even like an inspiration and affirmation, uh, that's a great book to look into, guys. That's my recommendation. But, I mean, what are you guys reading? What, what are you learning right now? What's, uh, what are you really drawn to right now? Share if you'd like and... That just gives you ideas of what's going on. All right. What else did I want to share? Yeah, and even if you're on the replay, I'm going to say this again. Please ask questions. Say hello. Don't be shy. Um, I won't leave you hanging. <laughs> and, yeah, I, I'm still, you know, taking uh, coaching clients, of course, if you're looking for um, – a four-week uh, transformational course in regards to your intuition, tapping into that, finding out what your soul's purpose is. Uh, I'm still taking clients, so this might be the time for you, okay? And one more thing. Um, we all know that the full moon's coming up on Friday, so I am going to be coming out live <laughs> at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, Facebook and YouTube. We're gonna be going through a full moon meditation, um, some healing frequencies, your full moon ritual, what does that look like? Some smudging, cleansing, burning out. And then there'll be some reading and a collective um, Reiki session as well, Reiki healing, distance. So I do that for um, the group I'm in uh, with Edenshire every Thursday. So if you want to be part of Edenshire, I am plugging it here because it, I've been on for two months teaching and it's been 
life changing. I mean, not only was, you know, me having my spiritual waking in 2018, but this is just like a, the next level uh, when it comes to learning. And they cover everything from meditation to yoga to kitchen alchemy to um, you talk about oracles. We talk about hormones. We <laughs> It's it's a great group that's anchored in Christ consciousness. So if you're looking for a loving community, you have to go to michaelmerdad.com and uh, sign up for the newsletter. So I'm just going to leave his uh, details here, his website, and you sign up. Sign up for the newsletter. You'll get a link uh, to Edenshire. All right. Because uh, that's the only way you can get in. And I, I, I do oversee the Edenshire page as well. So, um, yeah, it'd be nice to see you guys and, and bring your friends because it, and it's free. It's free. Why wouldn't you? You you learn so much. And Michael himself has been a spiritual counselor for, well, I know, I think he says more than 20 years, but very long time. Um, he reminds me he has that energy, that aura. He has gold aura. He reminds me of Wayne Dyer. That's just his presence. Um, so might not be for you, but it's, it, he's, he's pretty spectacular. So michaelmerdad.com, go check it out. Oh, thank you, Mary. Yeah, Mary's part of Edenshire as well, and I love I love teaching. And, I mean, that's... I, you know, I saw the email, they're asking for anybody that wanted to teach, and I'm like, here we go. <laughs> so anyways, and really been doing it for a while, so it's, I love, I love doing it. I love sharing with you guys. I love helping if we can all raise each other up, and that's how we're going to heal the world. It starts with one person, so if I pass it to you, and you pass it to someone else, awesome. That That's the whole gist of um, what I'm trying to build as a community. All right, so you guys have all the information. Oh, hold on here. Let's see. I have to go back. I missed a few comments. Go figure. Uh, Lynn, she's been tapping out more than ever lately, constantly having to push myself to engage into activities. Yeah, that's... Um, Really go with what feels good, what resonates. Um, and don't ever feel, if you have to say no, it's fine. It's all good. Because um, you're, you're saying no for a reason. And you need to honor and fill your cup up first before you can help others, right? Ah, animal communication course. Way to go. And started another, having a really hard time staying focused. Yeah. Um, you know, I'd love to sign up for a lot of courses as well. But it's like, okay, it, just bits and pieces. I can't, it's really hard. You know, you got to take the time for that information to marinate and then integrate. So you're actually learning and then you can share. Um, and that takes time. So slow and steady. There's no race, no race at all. Just have fun, have fun. That's what I say, have fun. Oh, Mary as well. Look at these animal communicators coming out. <laughs> and bless you, Mary. Thank you so much. I, I love sharing with you guys and you've been so loving and so welcoming and such a great community and everybody wants to move to Sedona, Arizona. <laughs> Uh, yeah, one day I will, I'll get there, but who knows, they might be making the switch somewhere else, so we'll see. All right, guys, if you don't have any other questions, if you happen to miss this, uh, like I said, reach out, feel free, and uh, I look forward to seeing you this Friday. Yeah, I guess I should maybe mention that again so you guys don't forget. And I did make up a cute little um, graph graphic for it as well. So there's your strawberry moon ritual readings and healings. Look at that cute little guy, strawberry moon. It's also known as the honeymoon moon. 
the honeymoon moon. <laughs> so 7 p.m. Friday, June 5th, live on Facebook and YouTube. I'll have a link to that shortly. I just have to create the graphic and then uh, make sure you hit uh, the notification bell on YouTube so you don't miss it. Or make sure you're notified on Facebook as well. And uh, can't wait to see you guys there. It's going to be fun. And uh, I, I I miss doing the the moon. I, I you know the moon stuff is pretty important. Um, it's tied to us more than we think it is. So it's nothing to be afraid of. It's actually fun and light and something to love and embrace because it's within all of us. We are all energy and, you know, waves of uh, water as well. Okay, Lynn is asking about Edenshire. Okay, yeah, that's the thing. Um, you got to go to you got to go to michaelmerdad.com and uh, sign up for the newsletter, and then you'll get the Edenshire information. All right. Mary's been there six times in five years. You're talking about Sedona. She'd love to have a little home there. I mean, who wouldn't? Yeah, the energy there is pretty palpable. Um, I feel that, I feel um, Tofino as well, and I feel Machu Picchu, and I know I have a past life there, so. as And, and Atlantis as well, so. <laughs> yeah, like Robin says, yeah, there we go. Get the newsletter, okie dokie, we're good guys. All right, well, I want to wish you guys all love, light, and blessings, and uh, don't forget to look out for my weekly energy updates uh, live on uh, YouTube and Facebook, um, five away from making a draw on YouTube. So get over there and subscribe. And yeah, it's it's going to be fun. And it comes out every Saturday afternoon. I kind of bumped up the days from Sunday to Saturday, just so you guys have more time to watch. And I can't wait to see you guys on Friday. There's going to be lots of fun and you never know, there might be a draw for, you know, a reading or a healing as well. So stay tuned for that. All right, sending you guys love, light, and blessings. And please remember, healing begins where the ego ends. Take care.